Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Grugs here, Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. In front of you, you see a pretty awesome looking knife. This is the Kaiser Justice II. Let me know what you guys are carrying today. Today I'm carrying my Kaiser Warncliffe Necker Knife. What do you guys and gals got? And veterans and active military, as always, we appreciate your service. Enjoy the video. Let's go over some real quick specs. Again, this is the Kaiser Justice II in a stonewashed drop point D2 blade, black and green micarta scales, full tank construction, comes with a black kydex sheath, overall length 8.87 inch, blade length 4.25 inch, handle length 4.62 inch, with a weight of 6 ounces. Up close and personal troops, let's check this out, man. I love this high saber flat grind. It's got a nice swedge, wonderful jimping, a generous sharpening choil, okay? Beautifully curved handles, black and green micarta scales with black liners. That is just so nice, troops. I'm loving every bit of this knife. It also has a lanyard hole that's covered with my, the micarta scales, which I think is pretty cool. And it comes with a skull crusher. All right, let's get to work with this. Oh no, let's not forget the sheath. It's a pancake style sheath. It has a little bit different carrying system, which I like better than the usual tech locks. It does have an option for horizontal and vertical carry. Let's pop this knife in. It fits in there nice and snug, nice and quiet. This be a perfect hunter, hiker, camper. This is a great all around knife initial impressions we're going to put it to the test let's start off with a little batoning and some chopping and then we'll take it from there i'm going to use gloves and no gloves to see how that works with the handle and the lanyard i just added this lanyard let's give it a go okay my goal is to cut this wood from about here to here to make some feather sticks so i just want to do a little bit of chopping i want to see let's say if you come to a branch Right, it's a gnarly piece of wood. I wanna see if a little bit of chopping will work. And then we're gonna do a little bit of batoning. All right, it's already digging in. Now for some, the handle may or may not be a little too small. This is why I have a lanyard here. Let's keep going. All right, so the knife is, you know, cutting through the wood. Seems to be doing a good job so far. And we will be testing and taking a look at the edge throughout this process. You definitely need a lanyard, okay? Especially if you're gonna do some chopping. Most of you will probably have an ax or a saw with you. Still doing the job, however. The lanyard does help because as I swing, the, the knife wants to move forward. As you can see, it's doing a good job though. Now real quick, I'm just gonna look at that edge. We're looking straight so far. I will be going through this knot right here. It's a small knot, but it's still a knot. And maybe I will purposely uh, baton through this. I'm gonna use, try to use every part of the blade so that this way when it comes to the uh, edge retention testing, when I take off some bark or do some, some whittling, we should get a good idea of the, uh, the retention of the sharpness. But so far, I have to say, this knife is chopping through this piece of wood. Okay, 
I am halfway through. I want to baton the other half. Now, let me just flip this over and I would just want to show you all out there. All right, make sure I have this in frame. That edge looks good. I don't see any kind of warping or anything. So we are looking good so far. Let's keep going. It's time to baton. I'm gonna go right through this knot. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You need to see if this knife will do the job. It's a nice chunk right there so far. Okay, let me just take a quick look. I mean, we're looking good so far. I don't see anything that would indicate that the blade bent. Let's keep going. That's a nice notch right there. Look at that. Look at that chunk. Look at that notch over here. We're looking good. And again, I'll get I'll do a close up in the camera, but so far so good. Let's keep going then. Let's turn this around so that you all can see that I am cutting the wood. Oh, cool. Okay. Have my piece that I'm going to be working with. We're going to do some horizontal and vertical batoning with this. And just real quick, you all let me know if you see any kind of warp because I don't. This is looking good. Let's keep going. All right, I'm going to use the whole blade to baton to do a, a horizontal batoning. She goes right through. That's a good sign. Check it out. Now this is some form of a hard piece of wood. I don't know exactly. It's definitely not pine. It's definitely hard. You definitely need an ax, a saw, what have you. In this case, we are doing a knife testing video. So I am testing out this Kaiser. So far, it's splitting real good as you guys and gals can see. Looking good so far. Let's keep going. Oh no. Oh no, massive failure. Oh no, this is a massive failure here. My spine broke. Wow, that can't be too good. All right, I'm going to remove the scales and see what happened. Legionnaires, we got, a, we got a wounded warrior over here, man. Okay, so this looks like it's snapped in two places. Look at the crack right over there underneath the handle. And then if I turn it around, you will see that there's another crack right here above the handle. So I'm assuming this is skeletonized. Let's open it up together. Let's see what's going on. I am bummed out, let me tell you. I like this knife. I had high hopes for this knife. And uh, nothing I haven't done before with other knives uh, of the same quality. I just am so bummed out. And, uh, you know, it's 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 heartbreaking for me because I like this knife. This was a, a nice looking knife, man. Let's see what's going on underneath here. All right, it is skeletonized and look where it broke. So, uh, I am just so bummed out. As you can see the nice black liners here with the Micarta scales. Let's see, let's take a look at this together, man. I am heartbroken, heartbroken. I cannot believe that this broke. That is just something. That is just something. What a shame. 
All right, troops, what can I say? I'm going to go back to Kaiser and uh, see what they say. I'm, I'm hoping that they will send me another one. And if not, you know, thank you, Kaiser, very much for the opportunity. I, you know, I really did appreciate the opportunity to test out your knives. But uh, that's two knives now, uh, Kaiser, that, that I've had some issues with. And this is just a massive failure. Um, uh, you know, depending on the hiker, the hunter, what, what they might have back, you know, in their backpack or in their um, uh, camping kit or in their vehicle. I, I, you know, I don't know if you could temporarily just put some tape around this and continue the hunt for the day or I mean for the most part I, you know I'm just trying to look at the positive of what you know what you got and you could still you know get a decent the way it, it broke you could still get a decent grip on the handle and then do what you need to do it's just a shame it's just really a shame all right troops legionnaires and new recruits I wish I had better news for you on this one uh I just don't know what to say all right listen I just want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day. No more. There are veterans and active military out there that once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the end of this video, pause on the slides, check out the phone numbers, check out the websites, and seek the help that you all have earned and deserve. All right, troops, at the ready. Hold the line. Take care. Legionnaires! Woo!